Hello flute players and band directors. This is a video to help you flute players get ready for the scale portion of your all county audition. Uh, we are gonna go through all of the major scales, one octave as you do them for all county. Um, and we're gonna take them in the order that I feel is the most logical for kids learning as they go. So. If you're playing a level one or a level two solo, you have to know three major scales. Most of the time, those would be C, F, and G. Level three or level four, you have to know seven major scales. So we will add B flat, E flat, D, and A. By the time you get to level five and level six, you will have to add all the rest of them. So we will add from there A flat and D flat, which is the same as C sharp, G flat, which is the same as F sharp, C flat, which is the same as B and E. Um, as we go, I am going to give suggestions for B flat thumb and B flat lever, and I will show you how those work, and we will play along together. So, let's get started. I am going to turn my camera a little bit so you can see my fingers a little better. We are going to start with C. We're going to start with that C. So, one, two, three, four. All right, F major is next. Now, F major is the first scale that we're gonna use the B flat thumb. So if you look here, I have two thumb keys. This is the regular, this is the B flat. So if I am playing a B natural and then move my thumb over here, it will become a B flat. When you are playing in most of the flat keys, you will be able to just leave your thumb down on this um, you will be able to just use the, the B-flat thumb. Um, this key can be used for every note on the flute that requires a thumb, except for B-natural, high F-sharp or G-flat, and high B or C-flat. Um, those are the only notes that you can't have it down for. So you do not have to move on and off of it. Actually, I really recommend against that. Um, so we'll put our thumbs on this key here, the thumb B flat. And then this way, you do not have to add the F key. I feel like it makes it easier. So it's a smoother, it's a smoother uh, finger set. So anyway, here we go. Here's our F major. One, two, three, four. Nice job. Okay, B flat. Oh no, I'm sorry, G is next. I skipped ahead on my sheet here. G is next. We are going to switch back to regular thumb. G major has one sharp, F sharp. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so if you are playing a level one or a level two, those are all the scales that you need to learn to play at all county. Now, if you're playing a level three or a level four, we will add B flat, E flat, D, and A, and that will give you the seven that you need. So we're going up to three flats and three sharps. Now, for our B flat major scale and our E flat major scale, we are also going to use the thumb B flat, the same way that we did in the key of F. So here's our key of B flat. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
Okay, here's our key of E flat. One, two, three, four. Next, we are going to go to D major, two sharps, F sharp, and C sharp. We'll start on low D. One, two, three, four. Okay. Next, we'll do A, which has three sharps. F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. One, two, three, four. Okay, so if you are playing a level three or a level four, that should cover it for you. Now let's go on to four sharps and flats and above. I don't know if the order necessarily matters here, so I'm just I'm going to start at A flat, which we've got B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. Okay. Also using the B flat thumb here, by the way. One, two, three, okay next let's go to d flat major which is b flat e flat a flat d flat and g flat um if you are thinking about this in C sharp major, which is the same fingered notes, um, every note is sharp. Uh, I'm going to start from that C sharp. Uh, I also use the B flat thumb for this scale, D flat or C sharp. One, two, three, four. Okay, next let's do G flat, which is the same as F sharp. This scale, we are going to use the lever. Now, this key is the B flat lever. Uh, most of your student flutes are not going to have this extra key. They will just have this lever, and this is the this is what we're interested in right here. So, when I press this lever, you can see that it pushes this down. Now, if I play a B natural and then I press this lever, it becomes a B flat. Okay, so my thumb is on the regular thumb. I can play B, I can play B flat, just like that. This is a key that I recommend using um, for the keys of G flat or F sharp and C flat or B. Um, basically, when you have a B natural and a B flat, whether you're calling it A sharp and B, C flat, B flat, whatever the case, when you've got a B and a B flat, this is a really convenient, it's a really smooth and convenient way to play those notes smoothly. Um, and you'll notice I'm not reaching back like this. I'm simply sliding my finger over so that the lever is depressed. Now, you will also notice that if I play an A, this key goes down on its own. And watch, it takes the lever down with it. Can you see it moving? So, when I'm playing an ascending scale, the lever's already going to be down. 
all I need to do is move my finger over to keep it down. And then when my A sharp or B flat is done, I lift it up. On the way back down, the lever is not going to be down. You will need to press it down. And then once you get to your next note, you can take your finger off of the lever. This is confusing at first. It's really worth learning. This is a fingering that's really worth learning. Um, when you have kids trying to go fast and they're doing motions like this as cross fingerings, they're super clumsy and it's very hard to get them even. Um, so this is what I recommend. So I'm just going to show you first. Here's my F sharp, G sharp. I'm going to slide over here, lift this up. Again, got regular thumb down. Here's my A sharp and then there's my B. If you fool with it even just a little bit, I think you'll find that it's not as confusing as it, as it seems at first. Um, I teach this fingering to even my beginning students as they're learning these scales. It's, it really makes a difference in the long run. Anyway, so we will start on our low F sharp or G flat, however you want to think about it. Um, G flat major is going to have B flat, E flat, A flat. D flat, G flat, and C flat. Key of F sharp is going to have F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp. I think I said those in the right order. And E sharp. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we are also going to use the lever on our next scale, which is going to be C flat or B major. It's the same scale, just two different names for the notes. Um, it's going to be the same kind of thing here. We're going to, here's our, uh, I'm going to go in sharps, uh, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp. While I'm playing G sharp, I'm going to slide my finger over, there's my A sharp and there's my B. There's my A sharp, G sharp, and then I can lift it up. Okay, so let's give it a try. One, two, three, four. We have one left, and that is the key of E major, which has four sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. D sharp is the same as E flat. Okay. We have regular thumb down because there are no A sharps in this scale. One, two, three, four. metronome off. I hope that was helpful for all of you who are getting ready for all county. Um, something else that I think is helpful is to remember that sharps or flats always add on. So what I mean by that is you're never going to have a major scale that has an E flat that doesn't also have a B flat because it's cumulative. They just keep adding on. You're never gonna have a scale that has an E flat that doesn't also have, I'm sorry, I said that twice. You're never gonna have a scale that's got an A flat that doesn't also have an E flat and a B flat. They always add on. And if you can remember the sharps and flats in the order that they go, I think it helps a lot. Um, I think a lot of band directors have the silly sentences that help kids remember. Uh, the ones that I learned Oh my God, when I was in fourth grade, so that tells you how long these things have stuck in my head. I learned for flats, 
Big elephants always drive green cars fast. That is the order of flats. My order of sharp sentence was Frank Carlton goes dippy and eats bananas. Uh, that's, that's your, uh, th th those are the orders. They do not change for major scale. So if you can remember that, I think it helps a whole lot when you're learning. So hope everyone is doing well with their scales and good luck at your next all county audition. Bye.